congressional district is Ken Jacob. Ken is from Columbia. He's formerly the Democratic leader of the Senate. He is here today with his son, Daniel. So please make welcome Ken Jacob. Thank you, and uh, compliments to the other candidates for the congressional district on their speeches and their remarks. This is my first opportunity to speak as a candidate for the 9th Congressional District. I have been listening to the presidential candidates and there's some themes that seem to be out there. They're talking about straight talk. They're talking about experience, readiness, hope, change, and opportunity. As a candidate, I hope to bring you all of those things. Experience. Uh, I spent 22 years in the legislature, seven terms in the House, two terms in the Senate. My colleagues elected me when the Republicans took over as Senate Democratic leader. I preceded Senator Coleman here. In fact, she was the one who made the motion for my election. I won by a landslide victory of seven to six. <laughs> Let me tell you, it was hard times back then. Catherine Hannaway was the Speaker of the House. Peter Kinder was the president pro tem. They unveiled their policy agenda, which included, among many other horrible things, the plan to cut 90,000 people off health care. I said to myself and I said to them that they will cut 90,000 people off health care over my dead body. I began filibustering every bill that they had one time I stood up for five days and on the last day I stood up for 15 hours and finally they gave up. And I'm proud to tell you that during my watch, thank you. I'm very proud to tell you during my watch, those 90,000 people had health care. Folks, I fought so hard because I believe so strongly in the values that bring us together as Democrats. I've said this before and I want to say it again. I truly believe that the Democratic Party is the most important organization of people on the planet. If we are successful in electing our leaders, then there will be peace and prosperity on this planet. If I can use a metaphor, the sun will shine, the flowers will bloom, and the little children will sing. Or in other words, the world will simply be a better place. You know, I've heard of a lot, a lot of uh, good ideas talked about by my uh, fellow candidates. And one of the things that I've learned in the last 25 years in public office is that there is a margin of good that can be achieved in any political environment. And sometimes the good that can be achieved is very small. But I firmly believe in 2009 that that margin of good that can be achieved will be broader than at any other time in American history. We will have a Democratic president, hopefully a Senate that can block the filibusters of the Republicans. We will maintain the majority in the House and all these ideals that other people have been talking about for the last 25 years need to be translated from ideas into reality and into law. It has to happen. If it doesn't happen, we will not be the majority party in 2011. We have to make it happen. If there's a theme of my campaign, it's get it done. We need to pick up universal health care and get it passed within the first two years. I'm tired of hearing about it. Let's get it done. Folks, I know you're tired of hearing many, many speakers. I've been listening and to tell you, frankly, I have to go to the bathroom. I've been listening for so long. I'll be here for the rest of the evening. I look forward to talking to you. I'll be happy to answer any question about any issue. And I'll tell you, that energy that I put into filibustering the Republicans, that's the same kind of energy that I will put into the United States Congress. I will not rest until these ideas 
finally become law. If they do, we will be the party that maintains power for the rest of our lives and for the next 50 years. Let's get it done. Thank you.